Hello everybody, Dr. Game Stone here, and welcome to Quiet, another game submitted to the J Horror Jam on itch.io. Uh, movement WASD or the arrow keys. Press enter to interact with ob with locked doors, rooms, objects, etc. Uh, press N to access stored notes. P to pause the game and escape to return to previous game state. Alright. Whoa. Whoa. Um huh? What the where am I? Ugh, my head hurts. Hey, I don't remember how I got here. Can't remember anything. And get out of here. Oh, oh, oh. There were people in these beds. There were people in these beds, and then the lights turned off. Okay, there's a door. Okay. What is going on? Hey, right, another door. What is this? Nothing useful here. I found a note. Today is a very important day. Dr. Victor and I will try to save patient Mira. She suffers from a disease unknown to us but we believe we have a solution that will save her life. This girl's been suffering since her birth. I'm quite impressed that she has lived so far, but the disease is starting to kill her, and it's acting really fast. But she told us that her death needs to happen because she has suffered so much and wants to finally rest in peace. I won't give up on her. I'll do my best so that she can stay alive. Dr. Victor thinks that we should test this on her yet, but we don't have time to argue, or doesn't think we should test. Yeah. Okay. Let me go back. I want to see if I missed any notes, because I just kind of went in there. Which seems to be the right direction to have gone. Alright, that's a wheelchair. More beds over here. Ooh, ooh. I don't need that right now. I don't need what? I found a note. God, I'm so stressed out. Being a nurse here, it's not an easy task. I need to work really hard to take care of them. And because of their medical conditions, things get really worse around here. But I got no choice. I need the money, and they pay me well. Most of the doctors here are nice, and they treat me good. In fact, I'm dating one of them. His name is Dr. Victor. He's cool, and he's got this charisma personality. But he's currently going through a nasty divorce. I don't know the details, but I think he caught his wife cheating on him with someone he knows. The worst part about this mess is that the daughter decided to live with her mother. Poor Dr. Victor. The man really loves his daughter. Telma. Right, Dr. Victor is very popular to talk about. Okay. I don't know where I am or how I got here. I don't need that right now. I'm guessing it just means the bed sheets. But let me go back and see if there's another cabinet that I can... There is right up here. I see it. If I can get around to it. There's two. I found a note. Reminder to clean Mr. Rogers' blood sack today. Found a note. Tell him, please stop giving morphine to the patients. They'll become addicted and we don't have a lot of supplies. If they complain about the pain, just give them some sleeping pills. That'll calm them down. Dr. Phil Victor Hilmer. So this is Mr. Rogers' bag, I'm guessing. It's the only bag in here covered in, or full of blood. Let me just check one more time, make sure I didn't miss anything over here before I go through that next door. Or is this Mr. Rogers' bag? Alright. Walk around. Okay. Alright, nothing, nothing in here. People need to stop. Is this just a cat? Yeah, those are just couches. Nothing else. Up here we go. The only like thing that has been explicitly said to do is... Okay. Hello, Mr. Wheelchair. 
Okay, there's blood on these beds, except for the ones with... The only thing that's been, like, telling me, or the only clue that's given me other than just, like, story notes are the Mr. Rogers thing. Nothing useful here. Found a note. Oh, God, what have we done? We were only trying to save Mira, but somehow the situation got way worse than before. The disease finally slowed down, but the side effects enhanced the pain. She's now suffering even more than before. We didn't cure the disease. We only delayed her death by some years. Mira's screams are heard from every corner of this damn facility. She told us to end her suffering, but we couldn't do it. We're doctors, not killers, and she's not no dog to be put down. Shit, this is fucked up. I don't know what to do. Dr. Victor told me to end her because it was my fault to begin with. Fuck that guy. I didn't ask for this. <sighs> I'm hearing Mira's screams right now. It's getting louder. I can't take this anymore. Dr. Walter Metza. Hmm. Nothing useful here. I got two doors to go to. Ooh. Dear Alice, I left the patient in the intensive care room. She's not allowed to be near anyone. The infection's already spread all over the body, so there's nothing I can do. Unfortunately, she'll be staying there till her death. I'm sorry about my lack of skill necessary to deal with this awful situation. I did everything I could, but it was not enough. May God have mercy on her soul. Please contact the family to notify about the situation. Dr. Walter Metzke. Alright, this way. Ooh, that's a lot of blood. That's a ton of blood. Like, just blood everywhere. Oh. Oh, everything's covered in blood. Nothing important here, just a bunch of medical books. Medical book. Whoa. Um, okay. Why did I back up like that? Oh. I don't know if that was a bug or what. Yeah, that! What the hell? And then suddenly I can't move forward there. Is that a bug or is something going on? Oh. Oh. There's a computer here. Victor Helmer. Uh, okay. I don't know the password. Nothing useful here. useful here. Alright, through that next door. Maybe we'll find a password somewhere. Why is that moving every time I walk into this room? The door is locked. There's a photo underneath the door. To my dear father, Joanna. Is Joanna... Joanna could be the password. It's Dr. Victor's... It's Dr. Victor's computer, and Dr. Victor really cares about his daughter, so... Joanna is a very strong possibility for being his password. Um, ooh. Yeah, I think that's just a problem with the game. There's a computer here. go through my notes. J-O-A-N-A, -A, that's what I typed in. What have we done? Note to Tama, personal reminder, working, working here. Doctors are nice, Dr. Victor, worst part about this mess, so. Okay, there's a computer here. Nope, okay. I'm trying to th like maybe it was a nickname, I don't know. Okay. Back I go. Those are all just useless textbooks and a lot of blood.
Could it be Telma? Could Telma be the password? back as soon as I can figure this out okay okay I'm back welcome back I swear I put in Joanna Hilmer before all right personal notes note to not note to forget or not to forget Joanna's birthday is right around the corner so this time I won't forget to buy her some presents but I really don't know what she wants I spend most of my time working that I forget to socialize with her her mother is a pain in the ass, but she surely knows how to take care of her. Who am I kidding? She's a total bitch running away with that coworker of her. What a slut. Anyway, I need to ask my daughter what she wants. That idiot. What the hell is Dr. Walter thinking? He needs to keep his damn mouth shut. I know the experiment didn't went like we anticipated, but mistakes were meant to be made. What? We tried our best to save that girl, but death was inevitable. She was already knocking on heaven's door, and now he keeps mumbling that we're guilty and God shall punish us. What an idiot. His limited brain lacks motivation to move on. Anyway, if he continues to act like that, I'll need to take some ma or take some matters by my own. What? Today I had fun with Talma. She surely knows how to rel relieve some stress out of me, but apart... Apart from that, she's dumb as a rock. The girl needs to do her job properly. I keep telling her to stop treating patients like they're in some sort of hospital. This is a mental facility, for fuck's sake. I work hard every day, and these brainless monkeys, and all they have to do is play around and sleep. I seriously need to find another job. This place annoys me. This isn't a hospital? Why are you guys running, ex running medical experiments and giving morphine to... Mental patients, what? I changed the door combination to match the bloodstains of the care beds. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. I know what needs to be done now. But, wow. I was seriously, I seriously thought this was like an overrun hospital with all the beds around and everything. Like in the weight room. Okay, so up, up, down, up. Now it's just a matter of if the white is, or if the green is uh, a full stain and the black is not. Going back. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Up, up, down. Door unlocked. Hey, did it. I swear I heard something other than my own footsteps there. Uh, oops. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? You're not supposed to be here. Your presence is an annoyance to me. <sighs> Leave now. What the hell? A girl's voice. Who was that? I'm trying to leave. No. No, that's not good. I don't want to be here. It's okay. I'll just go this way. Oh God. Oh. Oh, that got me good. Found a note. She died today. Mira is no longer among us. She can rest in peace now, and I'll join her soon. I will see her in paradise, or my soul may go to hell for what I did. I'll lock myself in this facility till my death. I don't know when it's going to happen, but it will happen. 
I won't forget the look she gave us before passing away. It was just raw hate. Her death time was at the so-called the devil's hour, which was very strange, but it doesn't matter anymore. She's not suffering for what we did. I'm suffering now. I put the key in the door, or I put the key to the door in my safe locker. The code is the combination of the year the experiment began and the year Mira died. Okay, so 96, 99. There's a clock here. Um, oh, okay. So safe here. So it's gonna be nine, six, nine, nine. Safe here. All right. So nine, 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 six. N experiment day so October 31st 1996 and then Mira's dead uh, October or yeah oh, June 11th 1999 the combination of the year the experiment began and the year Mira died okay so it should be 9699 right Okay, I don't know. I found the key inside. Okay. Nothing important, just books. It's all gonna be books. Okay. What's down there? I don't remember if that blood was there or not. I don't have a very good memory whenever I'm on edge. I like this game. Hi. I don't. Oh. There's so much blood everywhere. Hi. Hello. Just, uh. Just walking by. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh! What the? Okay. Okay. I'll be back again. All right, guys. I'm back. Welcome back. Okay. So I need to unlock the safe, which was ninety six ninety nine. Found a key inside. Okay. And then I forgot to like the clock is interactable. And it didn't sit in for me that it might be important that the witching hour was mentioned. And the witching hour, or the devil's hour, which is the witching hour. And that it would be 3 o'clock. So, I'm gonna just go all the way up to 3. Okay. Okay. Alright, so, let's see if this changes anything. Hi. Hi, Mira. Hello. Oh, she'll let me pass. Ah, I did it. Okay. That, that wasn't so bad. Oh my god, this game terrified me. Ah, oh, I got goosebumps on my legs and arms and ah. Ah, oh, god. This is what I needed. This is exactly what I needed. Just all these games back to back, scaring the crap out of me. I've been missing good horror for a while. Like I've been playing those RPG Maker games and they're wonderful, but they just haven't been able to scratch that itch quite as much as this. This was so good and so fun. And oh, I wanna see more. On the page for this game, it says that the developer is uh, like continuing development on this and I hope they do and I hope like God, it, it's just, I can't, I can't come up with actual words. <laughs> I can't come up with actual words. This is a good game. Uh, it's well worth anybody's time if you play it. It takes about 15, 20 minutes to get through, as it took for me, 
which I'm sure would have been a lot less had I known how to spell Helmer, which was sitting right in front of me, because I'm, I'm just not the brightest tool in the shed. All right. As evidenced by that saying. All right. All right. That's all from me for today, guys. So... Until then, I'll see you guys all in the next video, but if you like what I've done here today and you want to see more, leave a comment down below to let me know what you want to see played next, and go ahead and subscribe to keep up to date and make sure that I actually follow up on that. And until then, I will see you guys all later. Bye.